Hello everybody, I'm Roland from Cisco System Switzerland, Collaboration SE, and I would quickly like to show you an introduction on what has become available with our video codec software version 9.5. There is two features which I would like to point out. One of them is the input source composition, which allows to select any of the input sources on the codec to be streamed over the uh, content channel or over the video channel of your video call. Um, and the second one is the macros, which allow to actually run commands from your Touch 10. Uh, so it makes it easy to use this input source composition as well. Uh, what you see at the moment is my main camera showing in the content channel. What I'll move to now is to the uh, command line interface of the codec. I logged in there with uh, SSH. I'll quickly switch to this one. <coughs> so you'll see that I already executed a few commands. And the good thing about it is here really to show it allows to just show whatever is the most important on the presentation part of it. So you see the command I executed was this one up here. So presentation source three, which is one of my screens. Then as the next I'll move to like showing all four inputs I have available, which are two cameras and uh, also two screens, which I have just as a, as a demo uh, use. Um, I can go back to this screen where I run the configurations. Um, so here I quickly want to point out we have on the left hand side a Java script, which <coughs> is the macro which is running on the Touch 10, and we have on the right hand side the XML which allows to define where the buttons are on the Touch 10. When I go back to the codec, <clears throat> so this is the web interface of the codec, just to show it here that it's that where I'm coming from and where we're going, so we go. We first start with a macro editor. So I go to integration macro editor. At the moment, there's no active uh, macro running. I say import from file. I can choose here my script I showed earlier, and I have it now available. I can like edit it if I want to, or I can just save it because I know it is working. I can enable it. And now this macro is ready and running. Let me go back to the admin interface or to the main screen. I go over to the in-room control. I can launch the editor. <coughs> and from the editor, I can actually just do the same thing. I can say import from file. I'll select the XML I created earlier and you'll see that on top here we have like stop sharing the presentation and then I have the, the input sources I can choose from. So <clears throat> what always is also is important is the this composition button is available always. I can change this in the properties and when I go on one of these buttons i can see that the button id here is 23 or 21 or 24 or at the bottom here it, it has three numbers so <clears throat> this is actually defining the sources which are sent in the content channel so it is just in this interface it is using the ids to tell you which or to tell the codec which um, 
which input source is used and not the macro. So you don't have to modify the macro script. You can just go ahead if you have different uh, input sources, numbers you would like to add here or delete, whatever. Uh, then you can do this here. The same is for the video. So <clears throat> if you would like to send certain input uh, sources into the video channel instead of the presentation channel, then you can you can do this as well. And it's the same concept. You have uh, here the ID, uh, and this is defining what input source is sent into the video channel. So <clears throat> now I change the screen to uh, the touch panel and this video source, uh, the, the, the content source, sorry. And what you can see is I did not apply this uh, customized interface yet. I do this by pressing this button here on the top right, which says export to panel. And you'll see at the bottom, uh, on the left hand side, on the panel itself, you see a button showing up. So I didn't press it now uh, yet, but I'll do it now. So you'll see, okay, it says export OK, and at the same time, uh, additional button, <coughs> button showed up there. Uh, now I walk to the touch end just to show you that it's actually working and that the layout is the same as shown. I can go here and say, like, Compositor, I can. I at the moment I'm sending. Um, I think it's like three and oh, no, it's like two and three, probably. Or maybe this one. No, um, two and three. Yeah. Um, can I say two and four? Two and four was it? Yes, exactly. So I mentioned that it is possible to do the same the same thing in the video channel. So I just do the same thing in the video channel and I select also here two and four if I find the right button, which would be this one. So you see the exact, exact same content in the presentation channel and in the video channel. I'll go back now to the input number one. So you see my empty chair again. In the presentation channel, I'll go ahead and play around with it a bit. So you'll see that I can also select all four screens and I can also rotate them <coughs> around if I'm in the mood to do so or I can go back and just select two input sources or I can also rotate them if I want to or only the two screens again so that's all possible and to also just stop the presentation and have the video input source only. So I hope this helps. <clears throat> if you have any questions, please let me know. I try to answer or help. And uh, I wish you a very good day. Bye.